and you can yeah, welcome everyone. Um, I'm gonna start at 11, it's 10.59 right now. Just wanted to go ahead and get that obnoxious um, voice of the recording in progress announcement out of the way, that's all. <laughs> Do I start or do you uh, do you introduce me? Do you have a general blurb? I think your accent is way more fun than mine is. So I would like for you to introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been working at TAC, Victor? Hmm. I've been at TAC since 2005. So uh, a number of people that were there when I came here are still here and others I've seen come and go. So it's been a while. Okay, shall I start? Go for it. Or do you want to, you want to give another minute? Okay, this is where you start editing. <laughs> Uh, good morning. Uh, I want to do a quick introduction to the Pi Launcher, which is one of the many utilities that were developed in-house at TAC. And this one is by me. And it uh, fulfills the following function. Suppose you have a, a simple sequential program, so single core, and you need to run it with um, a thousand different input parameters. That is sometimes called a parameter sweep uh, because you sweep through a bunch of parameter values. Okay, um, you could submit uh, a thousand uh, serial jobs to the queue, except that you cannot because we put a limit on how much you can have in the queue. Um, Slurm has a facility for so-called array jobs, and we have turned that off at TAC. So the solution is, um, or what you, what you would like is to uh, give yourself 200 cores or something. You have a thousand input parameters. And so you hope that the whole of your job can somehow be finished in about five times the time of a single program run. For that, we have a utility called the Pi Launcher, which is sort of a dynamic job man manager inside your Slurm job. So you submit a Slurm job that runs the Pi Launcher, and the Pi Launcher then does your thousand program runs. Um, in the simplest form, it, uh, you give it a file with all the, the different command lines, and it cycles through them until they all have been uh, executed. So what does it look like? You make your usual um, uh, Slurm batch job. You tell it how many nodes. You tell it how many um, uh, tasks per node. Okay, that's a, that's a deceptive name in this case because there are, uh, the, the concept of task doesn't uh, apply. This is usually an MPI parameter. This is only to tell the Pi launcher how many cores there are. Um, and so then the Pi Launcher will fill all these cores with your job. You module load Python 3 and the Pi Launcher, and then you call um, um, Python with your launcher script. What does the launcher script look like? You import the Pi Launcher and you call the classic launcher method. It's called the classic because. Um, it is sort of compatible with the other launcher utility we have. And you give it the, the name of your command lines file. There are other launcher modes, but that is too much detail to go into today. And then you have a command lines file that literally has all the commands spilled out. And um, you can even with semicolons or double ampersands string a whole bunch of commands together as long as it's a single line that can be given to a, to a system call. Okay, and this sort of thing you can easily generate yourself in an editor with uh, fill in the parameters and all that. So that's your command lines file. And then we're there. So batch job two line Python script, 
and your command lines, and that's it, and it runs. So in addition to the, um, uh, the classic launcher, there is a way of dealing with multi-core uh, programs. There is a way of dealing with small MPI uh, jobs. So suppose you have a uh, program that take that uh, you want to run on 10 cores MPI and you want to run this 100 times. There is a different mode for the launcher that does this. Um, there are various parameters for generating trace output. And the whole thing is written in a nicely object-oriented manner so that it becomes easy to extend to all sorts of different scenarios. For more information, you can get the, um, the module help of the Pi Launcher. There is a, um, a modest, uh, uh, what is it, a tutorial page at the, uh, in the TAC portal. And PyLauncher is open source. Um, you can get it from the TAC GitHub site. Okay, that's it for me. Did anyone post any questions? Questions, welcome. I don't see any questions in chat, so. Very good. Very quick. That's it. Thanks, Victor. You're welcome.